Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, February 7th. We are starting off another week in my life. We're doing work week, exciting things. I have a meeting in literally a minute, so I probably should have started this clip like more than one minute before, so I'm gonna have to jump off really quick. But just looking like this as usual and getting ready for this meeting. I'm leading it and I'm a little bit nervous. And I was like, last minute I stayed up late like trying to pull things together for it, which I should have managed my own time better. But anyway, we're fine, it'll be good. And I feel much more prepared now. So I'm glad that I did that. But you know, sometimes, sometimes that's how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna jump on this call, get my work day going, and I will talk to you guys later. So, cheers. Oh, here we go, okay. Hello everyone. It's later in the day now. It's just past three, which I feel like is usually the checkpoint where I vlog and check in on my work day. And I don't know why, but I think it's because it's usually the lull time start, or it's some sort of like transition between tasks that I'm doing. So I just took a, I wouldn't even call it a break, but I just heated up a little snack. I had like an egg on toast um, at like 11, but now it's been a few hours. So I'm getting a little, over again so I made like a second mini lunch and I have tomato soup with leftover pizza from this weekend we went to dinner at a place called shelter it used to be called shelter pizza apparently because it's interesting yeah. in Williamsburg and they had gluten-free pizza so I got it's so good and I had so much leftovers because I could only finish half of it there so this is my last piece leftover and it's it doesn't look that good now because the arugula i just heated it up <laughs> but it's gluten-free and it's um burrata arugula and prosciutto pizza so really good and i'm happy <laughs> with tomato soup it's kind of like you know the grilled cheese and tomato soup except pizza so i'm having this um i just and my meeting went really well this morning actually better than i expected and like i felt better after it i feel like sometimes you know, when you have a lot to do on a project and you have a check-in meeting on it, it can either make you feel better about it, um, or it can make you feel like more stressed about it sometimes, depending on like if you, you know, have more added onto your plate after the meeting than you realize, or, you know, people are expecting more than you, you know what I mean? So it was good. I felt good after the meeting. And then I've just spent the rest of the afternoon and stuff um, catching up on planning for it. So now I just caught up on emails and I heated up food. I'm gonna have this and then I'm getting to some event notes that I haven't done yet. And then I have a nail appointment at 5 p.m. This is the first time in a while that I've like made it to a nail appointment without any of them breaking. It's been three weeks <laughs> and they've grown out but not broken, so that's good. So I'm gonna go get some Valentine's Day nails. And by Valentine's Day, I'm not doing like hearts or anything. It's not really my style personally, but I'm gonna do some red, which you'll see. So anyway, yeah, Mondays are always pretty chill. I don't usually make plans Mondays. And if I do, it's like here at my apartment. So um, tonight I have my nail appointment and then I have a couple hours free before I'm FaceTiming Sophie and Sierra. Oh my God, can I say this? I guess so. I don't even know how many people care, but Sophie's like been in my vlogs in the past and stuff. And a lot of you probably know who she is. She's one of my best friends from college and she got engaged this weekend. So I'm so excited. She like FaceTimed me after it happened, but I was out with friends and like drinking. So um, I'm excited to hear the story sober and i like all the pictures were so cute and it was like a really well orchestrated surprise where her boyfriend um had like a ton of their college friends meet up with them after and get pictures together and then get dinner and stuff and it was really cute and i knew it was happening so i like was following the build up <laughs> um and yeah so i can't wait to hear the story recapped from her and it's just like a chill stay in kind of night so i'm not getting ready or anything just the only time i'm leaving is for my nail appointment and then come back and chill so anyway my food's getting cold not cold because tomato soup whenever i heat it up is like scalding hot so really i'm just kind of delaying for hmm this is a perfect time okay i'm gonna eat this and finish my work day and then go get my nails done so a great monday relatively stress-free we're doing good <laughs>
finishing up the work day getting ready to go out in the rain it is just so gloomy out like everything is gray and hazy it looks like the filter on a twilight movie or something but we're going for it got a couple of podcasts queued up in the ears and i have a range i have three layers crew neck or quarter zip rain jacket and then a long coat this isn't even that warm of an outfit but it's actually not that cold it's i think high 30s when i say it's not that cold it's not like 15 degrees like it was it's been the most recent freezing days so and it's actually gonna be warm and sunny later this week like 40s 50s even god bless so let's go get these nails done i gotta log off Hello, it's a new day, it's Tuesday, and it's halfway through the day. I feel like I just said day 12 times, but um, I'm just gonna, eh, my hair's kind of messy, but I just threw some dry shampoo in it and I'm putting a little, just kind of like fixing it up a bit because I'm going out, and by out I mean relocating to a coffee shop to work because it's a beautiful day outside, it's a beautiful day to be alive in New York. It is almost 50 degrees today and sunny so i'm taking advantage had a good morning i had a couple meetings back to back and just been kind of catching up on emails and things around that and then i ate something really quick and i'm using like my lunch break time to take the train um which i can still like check emails on my phone and stuff but yeah i'm excited for a little change of scenery um been craving it i haven't been to a coffee shop to work in a couple weeks at least so we'll be good and I'm just feeling excited. I feel more energized today and I think it might be just be because it's like sunny and yesterday was gross. Um, but last night was great, got my nails done, which I showed you guys a quick clip, but they're just these red French tips. I got gel because otherwise they just kind of like fade out, but gel's great. And then I came back here. It was a really relaxed night. I watched Euphoria and I caught up on the season or the episode that just came out so i'm finally caught up on second season i say finally but really i only started watching the whole show a couple weeks ago um because there's less episodes than i thought there's only like eight episodes or ten in the season so yeah it was definitely very intense though um and i'm curious to see where the story's gonna go from here but now i can watch in real time and actually understand all the references of everything on social media that the algorithms think I've already seen that I had it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Does that ever happen to anyone else where it's like, you know, you hear about a show, but you don't really feel that much pressure to watch it, but suddenly every algorithm on Instagram or TikTok or whatever thinks that you're obsessed with it and just gives you all of this content about it and suddenly you like know half of the plot and you're like, okay, I might as well just watch it now because I kind of like got thrown into meetings last minute this morning that I had to prep for quickly. So I didn't really make much of a to-do list or strategy for today, but I'm kind of just like going with what's right in front of me. So one step at a time and I will talk to you guys on the way. Oh, I didn't even finish the story of last night. I got my nails done, I came back, watched Euphoria, and then I FaceTimed my best friends from college, Sophie and Sierra. And did I mention this already? Actually, I can't remember. I feel like I might've mentioned it yesterday. But so we got engaged this weekend, so I got to hear like the whole story from her. Um, like they FaceTimed me that night, and you know I got like texts and stuff. But I wanted to hear face to face um, her whole perspective about it and everything. So it was really fun, and got to like relive it with them since I couldn't be there since I'm obviously here. But I wish I could have been because they got you know a big group of friends to surprise them at the proposal spot, and then all went to dinner and stuff. So really really cute I'm so happy for her and her fiance Brett and now both Sierra and Sophie are engaged because Sierra got engaged in December so it's gonna be this whole crazy journey of like going through uh, living vicariously through their like wedding planning and stuff and I got a lot of actually I didn't get a lot but I did get a few DMs because I like reposted Sophie's picture like congrats so happy for you and I feel like this is something that a lot of people don't talk about um, but like people were asking like, oh, that's exciting. But like, how do you feel about like seeing your friends be at this stage and like comparing yourself and all this stuff? I just feel like in your mid twenties is when the majority of people like start to branch off more and your paths might look different. And so it like kind of, 
you know, might make you feel insecure if your path is not where you want to be or where you thought you'd be and all these things, compare your paths to theirs and stuff. And honestly, like I was thinking about it, I feel like I should probably talk about this more in depth rather than when like I have a couple minutes before I'm gonna go and work. But um, this is just on my mind because we FaceTime last night. And I'm just so genuinely happy for them because I don't personally feel any desire to be engaged <laughs> at this time in my life. So I don't know, I guess it's different if it's like you see someone living out your dream kind of thing and then you are trying to be happy for them because that's like a whole nother challenge in itself. But I think if anyone is going through that, because it is just a more common problem as we get older, it's to just really, really throw yourself into building the path in like life that you love for yourself. And then, you know, cause I love where I'm at in life and I'm like very grateful for my path and timing and everything. And I know that that's hard and it hasn't always been that way, I guess. But I would just say that like, I totally get it if you see someone, you know, get a promotion or do this like big life advancement that you thought that you would have or something like that and then it makes you feel bad about yourself but it's really really important to just like take stock of the things and opportunities you have in your life and your own path that other people are probably jealous of too and like just kind of focus on what you can do with what's in your hands now okay now this is getting into like a deeper thing because also there's a lot more i want to say on this and i feel like this could be a whole podcast episode really it's just like dealing with expectations and you know your own rolling with the punches in life when your path might look different than you thought or someone else's or whatever um but yeah anyway so that was just a long story but the dms just made me think of that and i am just really happy for them and i'm excited because that's what they want and that's their path now and that's great and i'm like along for the ride and obviously it's going to be like different just because that's going to be a huge priority to them that i don't like relate to but it's just, you know, part of life and that people have different things that are like more important to them at the time, but you can still make an effort to like make sure your friendship doesn't change and everything like that. And I'm not really worried about it, but um, yeah, just thought I would talk about that since it's definitely something that I think a lot of people are dealing with in these phases of life. But, but I think another huge thing, if that is you in that situation where you feel like you're just surrounded by all these people that are all experiencing this or getting to achieve this or in this phase of life that you're not in i think it's so so important to try and like diversify who you hang out with and who you spend your time with and try and make friends who are in a similar phase as you because like my two best friends from college like are engaged now and they're both like doing that but also i have a lot of friends here especially that i see a lot more often because they are my long distance best friends like i think it is different i guess because it's not like they're the only people i'm always with um and i have a lot of friends who are in a similar place to me so it's not like i feel like oh my god i'm so behind everyone and it, it, it's easy to like hyperbolize that in your head of thinking that like you're behind everyone kind of thing when that's really not the case and there's so many millions of life paths and there's no right one so I think that it's so important to like make an effort to go out and you know if you feel bad because your friends are all just in relationships and you're single like good to make some single friends who like want to go out and do things that your friends might not want to on the weekends or whatever it is like people you can just relate to in different ways and even people who you don't necessarily relate to but are just in different life stages that you can learn from but just don't feel like you're completely surrounded with only people that relate to this one experience that you don't. Like, I think that's where people might feel bad about themselves because it is like the only thing they think is happening besides their path. So I guess that's also why it doesn't really bother me because I spend a lot of time with people who aren't there <laughs> and aren't close to there. So it's like, I don't know. I think it's just important to keep your own perspective and be grateful for like your own path. Um, and be around people who are also on a similar kind of trajectory also not just one or the other you know so anyway okay i feel like that was probably controversial in a way and i didn't really think this through when i was saying it so hopefully it comes off well but if you understand what i'm trying to get to or if you relate let me know okay anyway leave me now I might be a little over ambitious with this outfit because it's 47 degrees, not like 60, but I'm wearing a denim jacket. 
over sweatshirt but also i decided that i'm not gonna go that far i'm just gonna stay in my neighborhood because i was looking and it's like gonna take too much time to get to a coffee shop and i need to keep working so i'm just gonna walk somewhere close so i won't be outside that long but got my fingers crossed merch front and center and let's go work in a coffee shop Okay, I just left. I was actually planning on staying there like the rest of the work day, but for some reason I'm having like asthma problems. Like I need to take my inhaler and I don't have it with me because this literally never happens. So I don't know if there was like maybe a dog in there that I was allergic to or something, but very strange. So now it's 3 p.m. So I spent an hour and a half there. <laughs> so now I'm catching the bus to go back home. I did get some productive work done in that time, so I'm glad I like mixed up my environment anyway, but weird so i'm gonna go get my inhaler and hopefully feel better but so it goes i'm gonna show you guys the things i picked out from newly this month i just turned mayor of east town on i guess i should turn it off so it's not distracting okay this is like this velvety dress i still have my leggings on under it because i was just trying it on really quick um but whatever it goes like finger a little longer than fingertip length but I really like the bodice of this. It's really cute and flattering. I mean, it all the bra straps, but it goes right to the edge of the shoulders. It's a little bit short on the sleeves. By the brand Glamorous, and I got it in a medium. So I think it fits well. It's like got some stretch to it. This one I thought could be really nice from like working from home because it's super comfy, but also looks nice with the knit too. It's a quarter zip cable knit sweater this is a medium from urban outfitters and it's cropped so you could wear it casually easily because it's like very flattering or you know zoom meeting you only see this far up and it looks nice but super super cozy and really nice quality it's called the lizzie cable knit half zip sweater so you can probably find this at urban now but yeah it goes down pretty far too and i'm obsessed with this i might even purchase it because it's so comfy and cute Okay, this one, I'm not obsessed with the fit of this coat and also it's darker than it looked online. I thought it was gonna be like a light wash beige tan, but it's definitely like a medium brown, I would say, but it's still really cute. Um, it's just that the sleeves are a really small fit. <laughs> like they're short and tight. So people said in the reviews to size up and I got a large and it's still like kind of tight. So, not like a good oversize. Like, I think this would be really cute if it was like really baggy, but the fact that it's snug on the arms, I don't know. But overall, it's still really cute and I'm going to wear it. But yeah, brand is, I'm looking at my computer, The River by JTW, W, and I got it in a large, like I said. So, this is by the brand Jake, but with two Ks, maybe it's Jack, I don't know. But I got the Tracy Boxy Faux Fur Coat. Look at this, isn't this so fun? It's like this oversized, fluffy, green and white, checkered, faux fur coat. I just love the unique kind of style of this. It crops right above your butt, and it's super, super cozy, soft. It's got pockets on the front. Just a really good statement piece, I think, and not my usual style, but I also really like it. It's still like neutral. Kind of, even though it's green. It was a size large, by the way. I probably could have sized down to a medium, but I think they were out. But still, like, I like the oversized look, too. And then this is the last coat I have. This is kind of similar to the other one. It's the Blaine Sherpa Motor Jacket, Moto Jacket from Pistola, which I really, really like Pistola's stuff. Oh, it's buckled at the bottom. If I remember correctly, people said this was a little bit oversized, so I got a medium. Um, I usually jump between medium and large, depending on what people say about the fit. So, oh, it's not even Sherpa on the inside. It's just lined on the outside to make you think. Ha, tricky. I guess that's good if it's not freezing, freezing out, but. Ooh, this is a look, I, I can tell, I can tell. Yeah, this is pretty fun. I don't know if I'd wear it with this because it's kind of a lot, um, these don't match, but definitely glad I got the medium because I do think it's got a little bit of a baggy feel, but not like oversized, oversized. And it has zip pockets, that's nice. I definitely feel like I would wear this in Oregon. Um, but I really like the brown because I don't have any brown coats that are like this kind of style, like a brown leather. It's not real leather, but it's not lined with the Sherpa. So you could wear like a thicker sweater under if you wanted to. But 
big fan. It hits like right at the top of the hip and you could buckle it. The last thing is another sweater that has been on my like marked closet forever, like saved items, but sometimes newly things will go in and out. So one day it'll be there and then you'll check back later and it's gone. Okay, I definitely like the idea of this much more. I've been wanting like a cutout sweater, but the picture definitely makes it look like it's a V right in the front and it's absolutely asymmetrical. <laughs> So the reviews did mention that, but I didn't look at them until after I ordered it. So it's a little bit funky, like the offset. It just looks, I don't know if that comes across, like it kind of just looks sloppy. Good length. It's like a neutral oat color. I think styled right, it could work. It's just throwing me off. But fourth and reckless, and this is a medium, which I think definitely sized down because it's like kind of big on me. Okay, those are my six newly things for the month of February. Very excited to wear them. You'll be seeing them on all of my videos because I always wear my newly things all the time. So, okay, I'm going to put this stuff away. I look very pale in this lighting. Maybe it's the lighting, maybe it's Maybelline, I don't know. And be done with the work day. So Hello everyone, it's now Thursday. It is, I guess, afternoon because it just turned past noon. And I'm taking a little lunch break coffee run at Starbucks because frankly, um, I saw one of my friends post an Instagram story with the brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso drink or whatever it was and I was like, yo, I haven't had one of these in a long time and it sounds really good right now and I usually don't get Starbucks but when it sounds good, it just, you have to get it. <laughs> so maybe this will do the same thing for you. So comment down below if you go to Starbucks after you see this because it's, when you see it, it just influences you, you know? Maybe that's just me, maybe I just have problems, but look at this fashion look. <laughs> I've already been working half the day, obviously, <laughs> because it's 12.30, and had meetings this morning, got some stuff done. I still have a little bit to finish before I have a meeting this afternoon for that, so I'll come back with my coffee and work on that, and then wrap up the week because it's Thursday, so I can't believe it's already gone by so fast, but. God, this lighting is terrifying. It is 5.30 p.m. and I've just been so in the zone like trying to get these last emails out and finalizing drafts of documents that we've been working on and I finally got it all done by the end of the week so I'm feeling so good but I was about to, literally the only light is coming from my computer when I look insane, but I was about to log off for the end of the week and I just had to have that sigh of relief with you guys. You know that great moment where you close your laptop for the end of the week and you're like, yes, I have the entire week ahead of me. And this week I don't really have anything hanging over my head that's like stressing me out about Monday already. Like I think I've, I mean obviously I have things to do next week, but I don't have anything that's like weighing on me of that. You know what I mean? Like I feel, it feels more like final. Like sometimes that happens more than others. Anyway, I had my Starbucks drink. I don't got an oat milk shake and espresso brown sugar drink, but I just kind of like DIY'd it because it's cheaper than like buying their one on the menu. So I just got grande shake and espresso with oat milk two pumps of brown sugar syrup, no classic. And the usual, I think for a grande is four pumps of syrup. So I just did half of that. And then I also added a scoop of vanilla bean powder because I really like their vanilla bean powder. And it was delicious, very worth it. And now I'm drinking the melted ice water because it's been several hours. And sigh of relief, I can turn on some lights and like get going. But I also have a workout class tonight. Um, one hour from now, I will be in Rumble. I haven't been to a Rumble class in a few weeks, probably a month, honestly. Um, me and my friend Elise love to go together, but she's been traveling for the last couple weeks and now she's finally back. So I'm so excited to see her because it's been a while and we can catch up and do Rumble and then probably get food after. And it's just a great tradition. So Thursday evening, it's super nice out. It was like warm when I went outside. Close the laptop because I don't need to be doing anything on it. The light is literally like almost gone because the sun went down while I was on this laptop. And I took my blue light glasses off after my like check-in with my boss and forgot to put them back on and now my eyes can feel it. So, regrets. All black, got my wraps, water bottle, ready, phone, keys, you know, the whole shebang. Let's go. Ever since 16, I've been having a job, knowing nothing in life, but I gotta get rich. 
it's Friday morning, not a cloud in the sky. It's so beautiful, not even cold. But I just went and picked up a gluten-free lemon loaf because they have really good gluten-free pastries at Coffee Project New York. So I was craving a pastry of some sort. Cheers to that. Happy Friday. We're just gonna walk around a little bit, listen to music, and maybe stop in Whole Foods to get a couple things for Valentine's this weekend. But ooh, here comes the sun. Amazing. We'd love to see. Okay, here are the things I picked up from Whole Foods for Galentine's slash Valentine's. I got a pan because I don't really have something that's good for brownies, so I want to make brownies. <laughs> and yeah, good deal, KitchenAid. And then I got the gluten-free brownie mix. Brownies with, I got frosting too. I know this is intended for cupcake frosting, but I might just make like part of it and put it on top of the brownies, except I guess that's different than icing. Whatever. And then they didn't have any cute Valentine's like sprinkles or anything, so I just got rainbow. Kind of generic, but oh well, it's not the counts. And I'm gonna bring this to Galentine's for the party. It's the Lesser Evils Sweetheart Pop. It's white chocolate strawberry flavor, which sounds so good, and I'm tempted to open it right now, but I will refrain. And um, yeah, so that'll be fun. I still wanna get a bottle of wine, but they don't sell it at Whole Foods, so I'll have to pick that up elsewhere. But yeah, somewhat successful. I was kind of surprised that Whole Foods didn't have more themed things because they usually have like a good amount of holiday kind of stuff, but there was like one end of a shelf that had some cutesy little pink and red shit, but whatever, we got this and we're making do. So all good. I have 30 minutes till we're gonna record the podcast and there's a new season of Love is Blind out. So I just watched the premiere this morning and I love this show. <laughs> podcast recording time. We're recording our Valentine's special. We're reading fun and like cringy Valentine stories. Sierra's coming on in three, two. I shouldn't ambush her with the camera, but you know. Hello, you're on camera. <laughs> I literally said right before the shoes, I was like, she's probably not gonna appreciate being ambushed with the camera. <laughs> and, okay, no, it's in my headphones. She, she goes, oh, I've been ambushed. <laughs> And then she just goes, good morning, everybody, with a little shimmy shake of the shoulder. There you go. You got the visual. Yes, yes. You can mime. Yes. <laughs> I just had to put the words with the, the shimmy shake. Oh, okay. Go off, queen. Anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully that translated into the pantomiming. But yes, yeah, so we're about to record the podcast. Uh, check us out at Fingers Cross Pod. Yeehaw. What are you drinking? Is that coffee? Oh, it's a nice tea with almond milk in it. Lovely. Okay, see you later. Bye. Now the end of the day on Friday. I just got ready and I'm about to put on my coat and head out the door because tonight we're doing drinks in Dumbo. So I'm going to go catch the bus. Luckily, I'm very close to Dumbo, so it's like 10 minutes for me to get there. And I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing. Anyway, the rest of the afternoon, I finished the podcast. I edited the whole thing and then I went down and got a delivery. Um, I got some like stuff from drizzly because i was gonna go find this particular wine for the weekend but i found it on drizzly so and i never ordered from them before but it's like an online alcohol delivery service and so that was actually really convenient because then i didn't have to go on a wild goose chase to like multiple wine shops around to find it so i found it got it delivered and then just did podcast stuff talked to sierra for a while got ready and now we're heading out so end of the week skinny jeans which i know we're not like in style anymore or whatever but i don't really care and their top shop jamie jeans with this like white mock neck top it's very thin so i had to wear a tank top under it which you can kind of see the line in this light but whatever in a dark bar or wherever you won't be able to see and this is just from like american eagle and then this is a coat i just got in my newly box this week which i think i showed you guys because i think i did a haul but big fan it's actually quite warm in here and i was worried that it wouldn't be warm enough but boots are new from princess polly i'm gonna have them in an upcoming haul but i decided to wear them out tonight try them out i think they're really cute that's this week in my life vlog hope you guys enjoyed you know my camera's falling down yeah we were starting off the weekend it's gonna be a good one and hope you all had a great week too subscribe if you're not already stick around follow me on instagram at christy better and i will see you next time bye <laughs>